Hey, hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. If uh, you've been tuning in for, for a while, you, you're used to seeing uh, my sports memorabilia wall uh, behind me most of the time. My wife said, you know, you ought to show a different wall sometimes. And so, here you go. Um, the sports memorabilia wall is over that way. And uh, that you normally see here, some of my, my quick trip career uh, things on the wall. And over here are some things from churches and uh, some, some important events that have happened there um, in, in, uh, at church. And so um, maybe someday I'll show you what's over on the wall over there. And, uh, but that's not for today. What I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, prayer. You know, um, I hope I hope you have a habit of prayer. It's important that we have a, a habit of prayer, and uh, the scripture tells us that we are to pray without ceasing in First Thessalonians chapter five, and uh, that pray without ceasing and ongoing, always on our lips, always in communication with God. But but uh, um, it's also important that. Uh, having that all the way through the day, but that we set aside a, a specific time to really focus. And in doing so, um, you know, the Bible gives us a lot of things to pray for and pray about. Uh, pray, pray for wisdom. James talks about that. James 1, five, and then James also talks about in chapter 5, um, uh, asking for forgiveness from one another and praying for one another. Uh, within that, and he talks about the the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Um, that that our prayers make a difference of of uh, along the way, and then uh, Jesus tells us in Matthew uh, five forty four in the Sermon on the Mount, pray for our enemies. Yeah, Paul tells Timothy to uh, that we should be praying for those in authority, those that are are in positions um, of leadership and authority um, around us. So we should pray for them. And then, uh, of course, one of my, my favorite uh, verses about prayer is in Second uh, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who uh, are called by my name will will humble themselves and seek uh, my face, turn from from their wicked ways, then I will hear their prayers and heal their land. You know that's a, an if then clause, and we they're all through Scripture, and and with that process. God tells us that if we will, if we will humble ourselves, number one, uh, sometimes it's hard for, for people to do humble themselves, seek his face, not, not just what we want, seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, confess our sin, and, 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 and literally change direction, uh, turn from our wicked ways, and that he says, then I will hear their prayers and heal their land. Um, we live in a, at a difficult time right now, and uh, um, and it's hard in in this world to find people that will humble themselves, that we that will admit uh, our shortcomings and our faults, maybe sometimes, and and seek God's face and and pray that He would heal our land. But uh, uh, there's so many of those things, praying for enemies, that's hard to do in today's world sometimes for some folks because there's so much animosity in places. Praying for those in authority. Sometimes people don't uh, don't agree politically with something, but but Paul doesn't say, "Hey, pray for the pray for those leaders you like, pray for those that are in authority that that God has has uh, allowed those folks or established those folks in positions of authority, and that we are to pray for them that uh, they would they would seek out." Um, God, that they would they would make wise um, wise decisions in that um, praying for praying for our own personal wisdom that uh, in how to um, get through some of the things that are going on how we can best reflect Christ how we can reach out to others but pray without ceasing and so I want to give you a real quick uh, just a few things um, if you're not praying for that you might think about right now and, and what's going on. Uh, and into COVID-19, uh, that we would be praying for that. We should be, that we would be praying for patients in hospitals and nursing homes who are uh, unable to be visited by their friends and family in that. And that kind of goes with this next one. Pray for those who are feeling 
lonely and isolated and confused by the separation during this time of uncertainty. And that's not, that's not isolated just to those folks that are in nursing homes or places. There's some folks who maybe live alone, live by themselves, and they're un, unable to get together with people and, and uh, they're feeling isolated, that we need to remember these folks and pray for, that we should be praying for our children, our families, for teachers, administrators, um, as a new school year is beginning and, and they've got some hurdles and some things to, to do that, to deal with that they, they never have before maybe. Pray for God's wisdom in our personal response to caring for our families. Um, that God would help us to understand. Some of, some of us are, are dealing with folks with compromised immune systems and some other health issues. And some folks, uh, some of us are dealing with folks in our families that are fearful and uh, so many different things that are going on that we should pray for, for wisdom and how we are personally to respond. Uh, pray for peace in our nation, for the end of the rioting and the unrest that, is, that has gone on in our nation. Pray for those who've had their businesses and livelihoods destroyed through no fault of their own. Some of the rioting and looting and things have, have destroyed some small businesses for folks. And, and all that they work for in their life is gone. And uh, pray for them uh, um, as they try to, to figure out what, what is next. Pray for our first responders as they battle an ever-changing landscape, attitudes and different things that they're dealing with and different kind of threats. Um, so we need to pray for our, our first responders, that uh, we need to pray for uh, safety, those that are fighting fires along the West Coast right now, and, and for, again, there are folks that have lost their homes and, and some things along the way that we should be praying, praying for them. Uh, pray for truth, clarity, and discernment as we seek God's will in, um, in our fast-approaching election right now. Um, I think that it's really it's important that, that we pray that it would be truth and uh, clarity, um, that God would give us discernment um, in dealing with, with all of, of these issues. And then, hey, don't forget this. In the midst of all the, the struggles and, and hurt and, and uh, things going on in the world, that, that we would pray for opportunities to reflect the love of God and share the wisdom of His Word. And then there's that empty line. You have some things that, that God lays upon your heart and personally that you need to pray for. So, so take prayer seriously. Set aside time to pray. And, you know, if you struggle with that, um, if you struggle with that, most of us have cell phones in our pockets and things. Set an alarm. Set a timer. Set an alarm that would go off every day at a certain time and remind Remind yourself to sit down and pray. Pray without ceasing. Seek God's face and uh, pray for, for our families, for our leaders, pray for our nation. Mostly, pray without ceasing. Have a great day.